Yes, brother Baye, how are you? I'm good. Enjoying. You ready to take in the arts and the Beautiful culture? Kansas. Yeah. Absolutely, fam. And this is a Toyota Coaster. Right? And we are here at this wonderful arts and craft. May look, may look a little bit old here and there. But what you're looking at is authentic crafts. We're going to give you a nice uh, view of all of the things that's in this, um, this exhibition. So yes, family, linking you with you know, the roots and culture through arts and frame. You gotta let us know these things. So this it's a All right. So what I'm gonna do, family, is just give you a little feel on outside, since inside you can't do any recording, and it's like that sometimes. Uh, I've learned to just deal with it, and uh, you know we do our best to share with you what we can share with you. Photo inside. No photo inside. Funny. Ah, because you can go and do the same thing outside. Yes, uh, once I went in there, she pointed to the sign and respectfully, you know, I just walked out. Yeah. I think it's because they try to protect their artwork. Uh, that's for somebody to duplicate it somewhere else. Because some of the good uh, artists to come and take photos, gonna do something like that somewhere else and sell it 
you know, maybe it's like how the Chinese are doing. They come to buy pieces, take them back to China, make a photocopy and sell it cheap. Then they flood the market and kill the business. So there you go, family. Our tour guide, Mali, just explained the situation. So, but this is a part of our itinerary and it's incredible inside. So family, uh, the journey continues and we'll keep you posted and give you some more footage. And Watch your back. Look at this. Look at this. This is uh, it's man made, handmade. It's easy to call it man made. It's a, it's a, it's a tire that's used by the uh, ox and uh, horses in the old days, donkeys. They use it. To the German uh, colonialists were using it also as a tire of uh, zebra uh, rickshaw. But, uh, they, it takes time to, to, to make and finish a tire like this, and you need a very hard wood that cannot be easily rotted in a wet seat uh, condition, and also you need a type of wood that cannot bend. So it's mostly mahogany that you cannot get it today, and that's why I said some of the pieces of the antique here, the price is incredible that you cannot pay for it because a tire like this today can make worth up to like thirty thousand US dollar, which is a lot of money. Wow. But this is, uh, friends, this is all made with hands. There's no machine application in this. Mm. Yeah. Impressive. And even today, we have some friends, some African uh, young generation, they are doing things like this for sale. Uh, the only challenge we have, some of the trees, like the mahogany trees, is now prohibited to cut and make things like this. But whenever they get one piece, they will make it. and. Uh, uh, people will buy and put in a, like a hotel or a long, big lounge where people can see. But believe me, the prices are very high for things like this. Mm. Uh, there you go, family. And this is part of the art and frame. We have a whole exhibition inside, so we're going to go check it out. And uh, we'll connect back with you.